All right, so significant figures. Basically, is different to rounding. So let's look at a few, let's look at a quick example of something that we want to find the significant figures of. It's all about the zeros. So let's suppose I've got a number like 136. There's three digits over here, so that's going to be three significant figures. Okay, so I've got the number 84, that's going to be two significant figures. If I've got the number 4873, that's going to be four significant figures. It's pretty simple, right? Mm. Okay. Now, what if I have a number 401? There's a zero, there's a zero in the middle, but because the zero is surrounded by numbers on either side, we're saying that these are non-zero numbers. We count all three, so we say all three numbers are significant, so this would be three significant. If I've got the number 5004, all four digits are also going to be significant. So it'll be four. What if I have 83040? Now, here we have to just be careful because significant figures here says only if the zero is between two non zero numbers, then it's significant, which means that this is not significant. And that means that this is going to be, if I've got the zero on the end of the number, it's going to be four significant figures. Okay? Yeah. All right. We'll do a quick example of a roundup at the end. Suppose I have um, 1,000. The zeros at the end of the number is not significant, so that will be one significant mm -hmm. figure. If I've got 900, that's one significant figure. If I've got um, 200, but now I put a decimal point in there. The moment I put a decimal point in there, and I put it, I physically put it here, and it suddenly becomes significant, and the zeros matter now. And what happens to the numbers after the decimal point? So the numbers after the decimal point, if it's a zero, then it's not significant. So for example, mm. if I've got um, something like so yeah so if you got a number like three zero zero point zero then in this case here it's going to be the zero after this makes this all significant which means this is four significant So the only time it's not significant is when you have numbers on the left-hand side of the decimal in between numbers. Okay. Let's look at a few more examples like this. Suppose I've got the next one. I have a number like um, 75,020. For the decimal, one, two, three, four, five significant figures for this one. If I've got seventy uh, six thousand seven hundred and sixty thousand and sixty point zero zero, again the decimal exists. We count all of them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to be seven significant figures. If I've got zero. Now, in this case, point zero two seven three. Then, in this case here, these three values over here are going to be significant, but those are not significant. So, when the zeros come before a number and there's a decimal, then it's not significant. So, in this case here, it will be three significant figures. 
But if the zeros come after the numbers and there's a decimal, then it is significant. It's not significant if it comes before. But it is significant if it comes after the number when you have a decimal. Yeah. All right. Then let's suppose I got 0 0.00309. So remember here we gotta remember which ones are significant, which ones are not significant. So the numbers that are before are gonna be not significant. The numbers that are significant are the numbers after, in which case this is gonna be four significant zeros. All right, keeping that in mind and building on that same idea, let's look at the next part. Let's suppose I have a few questions like this. Let's say the first one is 0 0.045. Again, this would be two significant zeros. If I've got 475.18, then that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five significant zeros. Okay. All right. Now, sometimes they ask you to round the numbers. They ask you to round the numbers, and they want you to round it to a certain amount of significant zeros. So let's say I want to round the number eight thousand seven hundred and thirty-six point five four to one significant zero. That means I have to make each of these numbers zero, which means that this will become 8,000, no, it will become 9,000, because I have to round up. And if I round it to two significant figures, then I've got to look at the first two decimals. That means it will be 8,700. If I round it to three significant figures, it's going to be 8,740, because the six is greater than five. If I have four significant figures, then I'm going to go all the way till there and try and get four numbers in there, in which case it will be 8737. Seven. And if I've got five significant figures, then I'm going to go all the way till there and that will become 8736. And this one, this one will actually stay at 7.0. And the zeros afterwards matter. They count. Okay, so there's a bit of rounding in the as well. So we're going to do a full round of significant figures. Let's look at another number here. Let's see if you can try this one here now, right? I give you the number 276.3035. And I want you to round it to one significant figure, two, three, four, and five quickly. Let me know when you're done. Yeah. All right. So 276.3012 to one significant figure means that you have to look at the first number and then look at the number after it, which is greater than five. So that's going to become 300. Yeah. Cool. Two significant figures. We now look at those two. Then we look at this number. It's greater than five. Yes, it is. So this is going to be between two hundred and eight. And then three significant figures will be two hundred and seventy-six. After we look at the three, and then four significant figures, we look at the zero two seven six point three, and then five significant figures. We look at the sixth value, which is one, so two seven six point three zero, because the one is less than five. Oh, yeah. And that's five. No, but wouldn't that be only five because the last number is zero? So if we go back. So our previous example, let's quickly double check that. So when we had questions where we had after, when the zero is at the end, 
it is significant. Oh, yeah. All right, but it's only when the zeros are before that they're not significant, right? When it comes to decimal. So this one is after a federal reason. Okay, keeping that in mind now, let's go to another one, and let's say this one here is now as a decimal. Okay, so let's suppose you got 0 0.047083, and you want to round this to one significant figure, two significant figures, three significant figures, and four. Okay, give it a go, try it. Press pause, try it, see if you can get it, and when you're done, press play. All right, so let's go through each of these now. So now, when we round it, remember the zeros that are at the end are significant. All right. And the ones that are before are not. So let's go through. So one significant figure means that we have to now include those three numbers there, because that's not significant immediately. So that's going to be 0 0.04. These values are significant already. Okay. From around to 2 now, 2 is going to be going all the way till there. So that'll be 0 0.047. 3 is going to be going all the way till there. 0 0.0470. Now remember, signif not significant, not significant, but 0 at the end is significant when it comes to this one. And then four values would go all the way to eight. Zero point zero four seven zero eight. And that would be to that. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next example. Yeah. Three hundred. If I want to round it to two significant figures, right, I can also, it's basically, actually, yeah, if I'm rounding to two significant figures, then I've got to have it as 3.0 times 10 to the power of 2. In which case, this is now standard notation. So this is going to be two significant figures, and it means the same thing. If I write it to one significant figure, it will be 3 times 10 to the power of 2. That's one significant figure. And it's already, in three, it's already at three significant figures at the moment. Okay, so that's when you have to just bring it into standard notation. So let's say I've got the number 70,000. I want to round it to one significant figure using standard notation, two significant figures, three significant figures, and four significant figures using standard notation. One significant figure would be if I take that and count it out seven times 10 to the power of one, two, three, four. And if I got two significant figures, then it will be seven. 0 0.0 times 10 to the power of 4. Now, yeah, looking at this, I mean, what you're noticing is that the next one's going to be 7.00 times 10 to the power of 4, which means that I'm technically just simply adding 0. That's it. And the 10 to the power of 4 is remaining exactly the same all the way through. 